it's just RL here and welcome back to a new video I am super sorry for my fan being on full blast right now it is freaking hot in my house and it's even more hotter outside so I'm like you know what I'm gonna have my fan on all day because I'm not gonna die in the hot so um yeah so if my voice sounds a little bit echoey or kind of distorted just blame the hot weather because it ruins everything so this is actually going to be another bluebell artist collective piece for you guys i am actually enjoying all the themes we're getting so far like it makes me happy to create our pieces because a lot of the times you may not get a really good theme that you're not inspired to make anything from but based on what we're getting i love being in this collective so far and I'm not in the collective just to get good themes, but it makes being in the collective a lot more funner because we are all very creative with what we suggest. So um, for this month, we had to create a picture based off one of our favorite video games. And as you guys may know, I am a avid fan of the video game series, Disgaea. I literally have almost all the video games. I'm missing Disgaea 3, and I am like on a hunt to find that game. Game. So if you guys can find it for me on a trustworthy website, let me know because I really want it in my collection and I would like for it to be my last game so I can complete the collection because my collection is looking forever sad right now. So um, I actually had a tough time deciding who from the Skya I wanted to draw because I'm not going to lie, I did this last minute because I've been so focused with work that I completely forgot about this picture until like the last week of June. So I was like, I'm just going to go with Laharl and Flan because they're like my favorite ship out of the whole game series. So I'm sitting there doing thumbnails on the top left side of the paper. I don't know if you can see them that well, but they're there. And I got to the third thumbnail and I'm like, I freaking love that. And it's basically a picture where they're rushing forward. And I've always wanted to do a picture with that angle but I couldn't get it right so I'm like I have to draw someone else so I was like maybe I should do the Disgaea 4 characters because I just beat Disgaea 4 not recently but I beat it a month ago so I'm like let me just do a memory piece for beating that game couldn't get it to work and then my mind was like Narelle just draw Etna and that is what I did and she came out really cute Etna by far is one of my favorite Disgaea characters like she is freaking fabulous and I just love her ego and her thinking oh I'm the best that I could ever be and I'm like I wish I could have that ego about myself but I don't because I think I'm like a really sad potato <laughs> and I'm a even more sadder potato because I forgot a lot of Etna's accessories because when I was drawing it I'm like okay let me just draw it for what I remember and I did look at a reference of her but when I finished the line work I'm like I know I'm missing something so I completely forgot Etna has like a little choker on her design so so the choker's gone and then she actually does wear gloves those are gone but I actually added in her bracelets because I'm like I can add that in without my picture looking odd because I didn't want to add something to my picture which was already line arted and make it look very odd so I took out the gloves and I kept the bracelets and then she has these little armbands which I didn't add so I am so sad that I forgot basically almost all of her design but I'm actually happy that you could still decipher that she is Etna. So, um, yeah, and I almost forgot about her tail. Her tail, I almost forgot about until I looked at a reference for the last time, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she has a tail. So, I drew in her tail, and I was like, how should I implement this? So, I'm like, I just put it as her tail kind of wrapping around her leg and coming back up so yes and I think it's really cute that her her tail is in the form of a heart so um guys so that's basically my piece I actually drew this picture with a red collier race pencil I inked it with a dollar liner because I cannot find my 0 
Prismacolor liner for the life of me. I keep losing that pen, and where it is is like an obvious point, and I haven't found that point, so hopefully I can find it soon. But I colored this with my Prismacolor coloring pencils because I've just been obsessed with digital art lately that I'm kind of losing my touch with my colored pencil skills. And I added some Jelly Roll for highlights, and I added um, some of the gold Gansai Tombi watercolor paint just to add some flair and extra pizzazz to Edna because she is so fabulous. And then that's it. I think that's all I really added to the picture. And I drew this picture on some Georgia Pacific cardstock paper, which I really like for color pencil work. It makes color pencils smooth. It doesn't give it that rough texture because I don't really like textured paper for color pencil because I don't like seeing the graininess that the pencil leaves so that's actually a good thing and I actually tried something new with my coloring because I've been seeing a lot of people use q-tips for colored pencil work and I'm like hey maybe I should do that so after I read after I added the Tuscan red to her skin because Edna is basically black and red so I'm like I'm just gonna add the Tuscan red to her skin to kind of make it more cohesive so after I added it I took my q-tip and went over that red and it actually smoothens down the pencil and I'm like I freaking love that so I had a lot of fun creating this piece yes I should have done it a long time ago but procrastination is my middle name so um yes so now you're seeing me going back over the line work because with this liner if you go over it with pencil it kind of does fade so I'm like I might as well go over some lines to kind of bring back the lines I lost so um yeah so my video is actually wrapping up so I hope you guys like this piece of Edna I thought it turned out super cute and she will be up in my shop if you would want to purchase her because I really do think this is actually a pretty nice piece I do admit that myself so um yeah so look at out for this Saturday because it will be another art extravaganza video and it's gonna be interesting so please keep your eyes out for Saturday and yes yeah, so actually before my video ends I will not be uploading a vlog next week because I am going on vacay and I would not say where because I want it to be a surprise for all of you guys so I will actually upload a video on Monday I will not upload a vlog that Wednesday and I will have another video up for Friday so just to let you know ahead of time so thank you guys for watching give me a like comment and share and yeah that's basically it so thank you guys for watching for the third time and bye